there's now there's a lot but like in 2019 like the beginning of it i mean the end of it there was not that many trans like out in sacramento like you know like i feel like i kind of started the wave for like a lot of girls you know like that were like being okay i could be me or like not only that like a lot of these trans now are just trans for like clout like really? that's kind of why i to? took a little step back a lot of girls are trans for like for views really yeah a lot of these boys put on wigs for views like <laughs> they do <laughs> i mean that's what you see a lot of like conservative people saying and everything is that yes, it's, it's a trend it's a social contagion it's a trend for uh, for sure i believe that a hundred percent really that's why i don't be on the internet all the time because i'm not that for that you know right i blew up off of you know but even like uh like a few months before I even blew up, I was still being me and doing me mm -hmm. without the cameras, without, you know, any of that. So you start transitioning when you were in high school or was no, it didn't was happen until right you left? Right after I got out of high school. Okay. Do you wish that you had been able to get hormones while you were in high school? Yes. You would have started at what age if you had started, control? If I had control. Because um, I always like, so like with me, like growing up, I always like, like if I was seen like a, for instance, I would see, like, the Victoria's Secret commercials, you know, because I'm 21, so back then they had, like, the commercials and stuff, you know. Um, Damn, you're only 21, so this just started unfolding, huh? Yes. Okay. For only three years. Um, I used to watch, like, the Victoria's Secret commercials, and I used to not think, like, oh, I want to f*** this bitch, you know? Like, I used to think, like, I want to be that girl. Like, you know, I want to be her. You so you know? knew from a super young age? Yes, I've been known, like, for a really long age. Like, I used to, like, do everything my mama did. Like, I used to try to be like her, like, you know, right. like. So, you know, I kind of like, I knew for a while, but if I had control, I'd say probably like 12, 13. All right, guys. So we got to talk about Adam 22 and his degenerate podcast, No Jumper. And the reason why we're talking about this is not because of Adam. Okay. Uh, we're actually talking about one of his guests who is a trans woman by the name of Ava Villain, who went on the show with her boyfriend. Now, I don't know anything about these people. I've never heard of these people until I stumbled across this clip, but I have to share this clip because this clip uh, really is an example of how confused our society has become, where we don't adhere to the definitions of words, right? Words don't have real definitions of meaning anymore. And this conversation is exactly what I'm talking about, okay? As, again, it involves um, these two individuals right here, okay? That's Ava. This is a trans a trans woman. And this is a dude. I don't know his name, <laughs> but he claims that he's not gay, right? He was actually surprised that his friends started calling him gay when he started dating this trans individual. And then he proceeded to call his Christian mother delusional for not accepting his relationship with a trans woman take a look channel how did it feel when it got exposed like what was that uh, like honestly i was just like i didn't really care too much but i was like damn i never got like so much hate before like everybody called everybody call me gay and shit i got people calling my phone on some shit i'm like what like talking to like that like you know what i'm saying hmm. so like i just seen who my real friends was and who was fake like you know what i'm saying because i still i got friends in new york and shit like that but like that's basically what happened. But now I don't really don't care what nobody got to say. Because me personally, like, if anybody asks if I'm gay and shit like that, I don't see myself as I'm gay. Like, for me, I don't think I'm gay at all. Like, I'm not sick or doing some weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm whatever. So you never, you never would have thought of being gay prior to this. So that's, like, your first time even having somebody throw that idea out there? What? The, the gay thing like you never thought of yourself that way or whatever mm. was it a little bit of like was it tricky in your head to even dm a trans person or you're like oh f like is this i'm be honest with you like when i just i just seen her i was like i because i knew who she was before like i seen her on the uh what's it called doing the catfish shit in 2020 i was always on my phone on the live and shit i seen her doing shit like that mm -hmm. but i just i don't know like i scrolled into her page and i saw her since she was in new york I was like, I was looking at her shit. I was like, because I'll be honest with you, like, a lot of people be catfish on, mm. on Instagram and shit. Catfish and, like, looking ugly as f in real life mm -hmm. or just fully not being the same person that they're yes. pretending to be. So I was just looking at her shit. I'm like, she looks good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Texted her. And it's been good ever since. Yeah. Did your parents feel weird about her or anything? Um, My mom, she she she's a Christian. So she, you mm. know, something. She's like, a, she's delusional. So she be on some weird shit. But I still talk to her and shit. Mm -hmm. But 
just has to accept it at this point. You know what I'm saying? Right, definitely. And you guys have been together how long? Six months? Mm-hmm, yeah. I doubt five six months wow the amount of cognitive dissonance in that clip is absolutely legendary <laughs> astonishing okay because if you have to say that you think that you're not gay <laughs> that probably means that you're gay and i'm not even saying that in a negative way i'm not saying that as a way to try to bring them down or anything like that but let's not change the definition of words here right like like let's not play games with words um, you may think that your girlfriend is a girl, but your girlfriend's actually a biological male. And the definition of being gay is, uh, a male having sexual relations with another male, right? It doesn't matter if the male thinks that they are a woman. Okay. Or they try to transition to a woman. You by definition are gay because you like Males. Again, I'm not saying that in a way to try to bring them down or anything like that or to make fun of them. I'm not. I'm just saying, to me, it's just astonishing, right? It, it really is that this man is shocked and surprised <laughs> that, his, that his friends have said he's gay for dating a trans woman. And it's like, well, I mean, by definition, yeah. I mean, it is what it is, bro. I mean, it seems like a lot of cope going on here, right? And, and, that's, and you know how I knew there was a lot of cope. And so he started talking about the catfish thing too. That's what really got me too. That part, that part really took me out. He's like, oh, well, she ain't no catfish. I'm like, what do you mean, dog? Like, I, I can't think of a worse catfish than to match with somebody on a Tinder app or dating app. And then you go out with them just to find out that they're not actually who they are, right? Like that is by definition, like what a catfish is. Most times we apply the word or the term catfish to people who don't look the same way that they presented themselves on social media when you meet them in person, okay? Most of the time, um, they look significantly worse or they're not even the same person. But again, by definition, <laughs> you know, if I was to go out on a date with a girl and then I show up and they're like, oh yeah, I'm actually a man. Yeah, that's a catfish, right? 100%. That's like the worst catfish, okay? I would much rather show up to a date uh, with a girl that's, you know, uglier than what she looks like online okay or she's not the same girl but she's still a girl right then to show up on a date and the girl is actually a man yeah that is the worst type of catfish right so um you know again i'm not sure if i agree with homeboy on the catfish thing either but what really took me out right what really got me is him calling his mom delusional right he said well my mom's christian so she's delusional <laughs> wow amazing stuff i don't think that your mom is the delusional one here, right? I think that the, the guy that is claiming that he's not gay while, you know, dating, having sexual relations with a biological male, I think you're the one that is experiencing some delusion here, right? I mean, your, your mom is simply adhering to reality. She's saying, look, you know, based off my religion, you know, I'm not cool with this. That doesn't make her delusional, right? I think that that makes her, I don't know, a Christian, right? That makes her a reasonable person, okay? Or a concerned parent. But on the other hand, when you're out here saying that, well, I'm not gay or that I don't think I'm gay, even though you're dating biological males, yeah, I, I think that that actually is what delusion is. And again, I'm not trying to bring the dude down or anything like that. Like, at the end of the day, look, he can do what he want to do. I really don't care, right? Um, you know, whatever floats his boat, okay? If he likes that, okay? If he's happy, cool right i ain't got no problems with it but let's not play games with words because that's what's happened in our society we are essentially erasing uh the meanings of words right of definitions you know when it comes to certain things like relationships i talked about this before okay they don't want to use the term husband and wife anymore okay which has specific meanings no they want to erase that right and they want to say well your partner <laughs> right your partner they want to call uh, men, people with penises, and women, uh, people with vaginas, okay? That, this is what they want to do. So, you know, the reason why I think that this video kind of bothers me is because it's just another example of how language has no meaning anymore in our society, and people just, <laughs> they're just making things up based off what they feel like, right? And that's just not how we can have a function in an organized society. You can't have a function in an organized society when we can't even agree on the definitions of basic words and meanings, right? It's, it's, it's uh, pretty disheartening stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.